All right, good morning. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Uh, for those of you new to the channel, my name is Mike. So we just launched from uh, Dana Landing in Mission Bay. That's San Diego, California, for those of you who don't know. And the plan is to go rock fishing today. I went uh, the other day with my buddy Eric, and we did some slow pitch jigging for rock fishing. It was, it was a blast. I, forgot, I almost forgot how much fun rock fishing was, uh, if you do it the right way. You know, I don't really enjoy hanging bait, but uh, you know, jigging those, those, those light jigs on the bottom with light rods, it's, just, it's a great time. So uh, that's the plan for today. It's gonna get windy in the afternoon. Uh, so we'll try and get some meat in the fridge and then uh, call it a day. We'll see how it goes. All right, so yeah, today I didn't bring my whole uh, tackle box. I just kind of packed the butt pack and uh, going light. And see what we got today. I'll leave that. And then this is what I was using the other day. Um, this guy. But I put new hooks on it. But this thing has been around and it gets bit. It's the, uh, I think it's a Daiwa, or no, it's a, yeah, it's a jig par. It's a, um, I think, major craft. But yeah, that's really, it's a really good bait. Maybe if you win the bass tournament, I'll throw that in there in the box. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> I don't think it's too big, but <laughs> feels good to get bit. <laughs> yeah, it's not that big. Hopefully it's not too small because I don't want to hurt it coming up from that deep. I know some have a limit and some don't. The limit is 12, like the, the size limit for the ones that do have a limit. I don't want to keep small ones, but as you can see, this guy's air bladder, swim bladder is coming out of his mouth, so he's probably gonna die regardless. So this is a fish taco. This has become a fish taco. <laughs> yes. Oh, got another little guy. <laughs> I'll probably move out of this spot after this fish because uh, I don't really want to keep, you know, these little guys. Ooh. I don't know, actually. I don't know if it just woke up or it got beaten by a bigger fish. Maybe I had a, like a mackerel on here. Oh! What the hell was that? Maybe the assist hook fouled it and then it felt different? Yeah, that was weird. Yeah, no, there was definitely another, something else was going on. There, there was no way that this was what that felt like. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys just so you can see what I'm talking about. Yeah, so if you see this, it was coming up easy, coming up easy, boom, it got heavy. You can see, whoop. Uh, wow, I didn't even know I could do that. And then uh, that guy hit it, whatever I was reeling, that little fish I was reeling up, and then you can see it coming up the big mark, and I dropped it about there. Wow, you never know what you're gonna catch out here. It's just, I love fishing. One feels better. It's pumping a little bit. Oh yeah. <laughs> Who knows though, it might still be small. Whew. 
yeah, you see those head shakes? That's good. Stay on, bro. This is a really light rod, it's a bass rod, but... Alright, I'm at the color of black. I don't see it. Oh, yeah. Ew! <laughs> Dinner for two. <laughs> oh, damn, I love fishing so much. <laughs> yes. Oh, this is smaller, but oh, that felt good. I love that feeling. The nibble. It's all about the nibble and setting the hook. So I really don't want to like take these smaller ones, but. I feel like yeah. it's, you know, it's just gonna die anyway, probably. The percentage of it of it dying is pretty high. I mean it's air bladders popping out of its throat. So one burrito coming right up. <laughs> <laughs> 